Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. This is video five in the install Windows Admin Center. So if you guys aren't familiar with Windows Admin Center, it's a cool tool. We're gonna to get into it today in this video. So you can administer other servers in your environment. You can do like shares, you can remote desktop, you can do many things, and we'll showcase that tonight. So some things you should know, you know, you can manage Windows Server 2012, 2012 R2, 2016, 2019, obviously 2022, right? So let's go ahead and go on to the next screen. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna go ahead and download the admin center and we're gonna install that on our file server, right? And then we're gonna install it. We're gonna download and install it and then we're gonna manage Things we can manage is 2016, 2019, and 2022. Just like I said in the previous slide, I must have just left that in there when I was making the edits. So yeah, let's just jump into the desktop. And what we're gonna do here, let's go ahead and remember, this is from the last video we were, we joined this computer to the domain. So let's go ahead and just change the display settings because obviously it's a new profile because this is a domain user, not a local user. And if we open up Admin Center, ignore those errors, and you can see now the work group is infosecpat.com. Everything is good to go, right? So what we're gonna do here is go ahead and go out to the internet, and we're gonna go ahead and download Admin Center. And it's free 99, you don't have to worry about anything. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. And just go to Google and Windows Admin Center download. Okay. And just go ahead and go to the first link, Microsoft link. Super, super simple. And just download it right here. Once you download it, it should download pretty quick. It's about 78 megs in size. Let's go ahead and open that and install it. Minimize this. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. Like I said, this is an awesome tool to have on your, you know, you can have this on your desktop, on your Windows 10, Windows 11 machine. You don't have to have this on the server, but I'm just installing it on my file server, okay? So go ahead and accept. We can go ahead and require diagnostic, that's fine. Go ahead and hit next. And I don't wanna use Microsoft Update. I'm gonna use Microsoft Update recommended. Go ahead and hit next. And this, you know, Windows, we can use Windows RM, so remote management over HTTPS, like TLS, uh, SSL only. I'm gonna leave that by default. I'm gonna leave that unchecked, okay? And this is gonna be installing a web server. So it's gonna be running on port 443. So we're gonna generate a self-signed SSL certificate. That's fine with me. Go ahead and hit install. And we'll give this a moment to install. Once this installs, we should be prompt to browse out to the to the uh, Microsoft Edge, and then within Microsoft Edge, we'll log in and manage our DC, just like I said in the beginning. So you're going to see all the fun stuff you can do with Admin Center. I haven't used Admin Center in quite a few years, and to be quite frank. Like when I'm doing these courses, doing these videos, same thing happened when I was doing the Windows Server 2019 series. I just get like, like deja vu. Like I miss being a sysadmin. I miss doing networking stuff. This like just brings me back to memories and it's cool. You know what I mean? And you don't use like, at least me, I'm not doing this every single day anymore since I'm transitioned to the cyber world. I'm doing more cybersecurity and stuff like that. So when it comes back to the sysadmin, system engineering stuff, like I enjoy it. So uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am. And you know, these videos are informative. You know what I mean? Like this is what it's all about is teaching, um, passing the message and just like learning. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing wrong with learning. Do the best you can always, uh, yeah. 
So what we can do here, what we can do here is just give this a second. Let's go ahead and go on our DC really quick. Let's go ahead and log in here. Draw something. Just while that one's cooking, we can just take a flip over here. Just want to make sure. I want to show you guys something, right? So I want to open up a go to computer. So there's no and we're going to see this. In the we're going to see this shortly. So we're going to go ahead and make a new folder here. Just put um, IT tools. Okay. Going to make it IT tools, and then we're going to share this and monitor and manage this from the admin center. And we're going to also create and upload a file and download a file. So actually, what I'm going to do here, really quick, I'm just going to make a new document, and I'm just going to put. Test one. Okay. And I want to put in here, let's make it bigger. Uh, thanks for watching. I can spell watching this video. Okay. Thanks. Henrik Lundquist. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching this video. So, we're going to go ahead and exit out here, save it. And we have test one, right? So let's go ahead and go back to our file server, see if it's cooking. Perfect. So now it's ready to connect from a PC. So what we're gonna do here is just click on the, the URL and we're gonna go ahead and log in. So what are we gonna log in with? We're gonna log in with our, in my case, my administrator account, administrator account, because that's the only one I have right at the moment. I'm gonna go to administrator. And my fancy password. Okay. And then admin center should start up. I want to go ahead and put this as a favorite. And then in here, I want to go ahead and go to favorites, just a little dots, and always show so I can see it up here. Okay. We can do that later. So let's make this a little larger. Whoa, that's that big. Okay. So successfully update extensions catalogs. So now we have Windows Admin Center installed, right? So we only have our one server here though, right? So what if we wanted to add our domain controller in here so we can manage that? Very simple. So if we have, if you see here, add server, make this a little smaller now. So we have a server, Windows PC, Windows cluster, or server clusters, and an Azure VMs. So in this case, we're going to do a server. So an add server. And then we're going to go ahead and see if we can search an active directory. Or we can just add one. You know what? Let's just add one. So it's going to be win. See if it comes up. Two, two. Nothing yet. DC. Zero, one. See if it, see if it comes up. Uh, OK, that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and use add credentials. Uh, all right, so that's that's interesting. All right, so let's just do infosec hat backslash administrator and then my fancy password. Let's see if we're able to search it. There we go. It found infosec hat. Yes. All right, so the server, yep, perfect, add, and now we see DC01 here. Okay, perfect. Now let's make this a little larger. Think with that. All right, so let's go ahead and just click on DC01. We're going to tinker around with this, and I'll show you guys some stuff. This is really, really cool. I love this. Like when I was a sysadmin, I used to love playing with Windows Admin Center. This was really fun, really good. And um, now obviously it changed from when I used it. I, the last time I used this was probably in, in a production, not like making videos, it's probably 2016, server 2016. So, you know, they went to 2019 and now it's 2022. All 
right? So the overview, we have the overview of our Windows Server, excuse me, the, the DC01. The domain is infosecpat.local. The operating system is Server 2022. Okay, so you can see, you know, it's an i7. Obviously, this is running in VirtualBox. So there's no protection for backups. And you can see all the good stuff here. All right, so let's just keep going down. We can go to devices. We can go to certificates. See if there's anything shows up. We can see, okay, hard drives. Obviously, it's a virtual box. So if we go to files and uh, files and file sharing, we can see on the C drive. Remember, I, I made that that IT tools. Okay, and we have that text. So I want to go ahead and download this. Right, let's go ahead and download this. All right, so I want to look at this file. Come on. So this is in my downloads, and I can open it, and thank you for watching, right? Or, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Okay, so now we were able to download from the file server, right? So what if we wanted to upload? Let's go ahead and just do that really quick, and we just put S2. Upload, upload, okay. Hit save. And now we have that in our local machine here on our file server. And we wanna go ahead and put this on a domain controller, right? So we can go ahead and upload file, select the file and go to my documents and test two. Submit. It's successful, so let's go just jump on the file, the domain controller. Right, let's go to the domain controller. And now you can see here, S2 is there and upload. So this is on a domain controller, as you can see. So that worked. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I think that's pretty cool. At least I get excited with that. Okay, so now we're back here. So we can look at the firewall settings. One other thing we can do um, in a second. We'll get to that in a second. So we can see the firewall rules, incoming rules, outgoing rules, you know, all that good stuff. We can see the installed apps. Not too many apps on there. The users and groups. Okay, this tool cannot, okay, that is fine because it's trying to connect to a domain controller. The networks, you can see the networks. And obviously, remember, this is limited. This is not going to be as fancy as if you're in a production environment. So what you can do if, if you are a help desk or a sysadmin or something like that, and you haven't messed with this, just install it on your Windows 11 or your Windows 10 machine and connect to a server. Obviously, if you have the rights to connect to it, you'll, you'll see it. So this is what I wanted to show you. This is the last thing I wanted to say is remote desktop. So I want to go ahead and remote desktop to this and put my fancy password, confirm, connect, and now I don't need that. And now let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And you can see we're connected. We RDP to our server. See that? Pretty cool, right? So. We can just do that right from the admin center. We can disconnect from that now. The roles and features, we can see what roles and features are installed on that box, which obviously we know Active Directory Domain Services is installed, DNS, and all that good stuff. So now I'm just going to do updates. We could do a boatload of stuff. So I don't want to go on and on. You guys can tinker around. This is just a video on how to install Windows Admin Center. Uh, you can put it on any machine. I just decided to put it on the file server. If you guys have any problems or any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the description below. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like, subscribe, share, like I always say, and many more videos in this playlist to come. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.